But I, I felt with her that it was a bit of an optical illusion because you, you don't, your, your untrained eye doesn't tell you that, that it's, um, I just wanted to emphasize yep. that. She's a beautiful bitch though. Coat is lovely on this bitch. Look at that. Color, beautiful. Now, what about that tail? It's touching the ground and it's supposed to be a fault, isn't it? No. no. Whoever no. said it was a fault? No. This tail, no. Tail tip. It tail says tip. it says that that it, that it the must back. come at no, the, the last that. vertebra must come at least She's to the hawk. She's beautiful, though. Hawks now, the what she does when she is really... And maybe, Miria, could I get you to move her? Because I don't like her tail carriage. It mm -hmm. comes right up. And yet she doesn't have... No. She's not... I, either she's got a slight kink in there or something. Could you, could you move her for me, Miria? I think you'll see it when Sometimes she... Sometimes you get alpha bitches that... Uh, well, she's doing that, okay, Alison? Yeah. <laughs> Look at the drawing. It's, if she sees a squirrel, of course, or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the comment you've made about the elbows and the lack of uh, yes. height it shows in that front view. Yes, it certainly does. And that's uh, that's. She also I'm did. Doing. She also did grow back a dew claw and I had it taken off and they botched it and one of her legs has never been as strong since so I mean it's just one of those things but I am not happy with her coming or going from me if you move her again you're like the rear she tends to um, to I, I don't I, she's hucking in a bit there I mean I'd like a stronger rear and I'd like her much better coming at me from the front I, I, I can't figure how I move it too much. I mean, she's converging, she's showing forward. Well, she's my dog and I yeah. bred her and I, I, <laughs> I, and I can be very picky. <laughs> but, I mean, these are the things that every time I look, I'm like, <gasps> you know how you do. <laughs> I know what you're saying. The right back leg is just... Yeah, like, yeah. But I hate to do this because she's a beautiful bitch. She's a lovely, typical toller. Yeah. You look at that, and that's, that's what you're looking for, a nice, rich colour. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Just enough white to change yeah. it. It's a flashy little girl. Die for that tail tip. Yeah. Mm. And anyway, yeah. and anyway, just think how many puppies you can fit in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, did a beautiful job with Amelia. Thank you. Who's next? Um, yes. Um, well, okay. We haven't had any boys. Okay. Now, Denise, will you go over this dog? Then I do have something I want to say about him. <coughs> Everybody see the profiles? Most important bit of the profile first. Yeah. Get an idea of the balance of the dog. Bear in mind to put you in the box if you like. He's rising four, isn't he? He, what? He's, he'll be four in the fall. Sorry, I'm using horseman's language. He's rising for. in the jeans, I believe. <laughs> yeah. He's a little bit out of coat at the moment, so uh, it's not too fair on him to discuss his coat. Um, his ears are a little bit of a worry. <laughs> Just a tad. Um, he tends to fly them a little bit. They're set quite well. They're in nice shape. Um, I, I, I wouldn't worry too much about it, but I wouldn't like to see anything higher than that or more fly weight. There's, the ear is, is a little bit pointy and a little bit weak in the leather, um, which is probably the reason that it's, it's very evident that the, the ear is not quite what you would like to see. Um, apart from that, I'd like just a little bit more angulation, a little bit more uh, upper arm, which is very hard to get in, in any breed, let alone tolls. So can we move him and see how he moves? Sure. Beautiful eye shape. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. 
Great expression. When he's moving towards me, the dog is pounding. His hands mm -hmm. are mm -hmm. And that's because he hasn't got the lift. You remember I said your, your upper arm gives you the lift. If the dog can't lift that foot, then he can't get, get it back in time. So he tends to go like this rather than like that. So it's a lack of length, right? A lack of length of upper arm. But it's not, I mean, it's not a really bad front. Right, I'm just right. pointing out to you the thing That's that I would like to take like on the dog. Yeah. Yeah. What about um, tollers that look like they're going around the beach ball? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's an uh, egg beater. <laughs> Marie, just bring him back here a minute, will you, please? Uh, there could be a number of things. Uh, Get him, put him so, up back here. Okay, I just wanted to make a point about this dog, is that handsome is as handsome does, and that he, yes, he has some faults, and the ears do alter, the folded ears most certainly do alter the expression. But this dog is bright, he's a typical toller, and God knows he's working in the field. He just got his master hunter. And he's, you know, so people might say, oh, I'm not going to breed to him, he's got folded ears. Well, learn to look at the whole dog and learn to look at the overall picture, as, De as Denise said. You know, don't get hung up on just one thing. Granted, if I had a bitch and I disliked the folded ears and I would not breed a bitch with folded ears to him. But if I'm wanting a, a, an excellent dog for either hunting or doing hunt tests or anything, then you take, what has this dog done? And what did his father do before him? So, you know, you just have got to not be so picky as to say, oh, I'm not going to be to that dog because he's got folded ears or, or something else. So, you know, try to learn to appreciate the whole dog and try to learn to know your pedigrees. Okay? So, so do you think his ears are folded? You said, Denise, that, that, um, that he has good size of ears, that the... That the um, the ear staff is good, but it's just that the leather is... Well, yeah, you can, you can quite often tell in young puppies if the ears are very small and very pointy. I think, uh-oh, watch this one. Bear in mind the heritage that you're breeding with. You're breeding with a dog which has collie, collie behind mm -hmm. it. And uh, so from time to time, that is going to become evident. Mm -hmm. But do you think that the reason that his ears are folded is because they're, it's not as thick? I've no. got a dog, I've got a bitch with folded no, ears. No, I think, I think, I don't call this a folded ear, quite frankly. A, a folded ear to me is one that goes way back and it's not a rose, it's just as folded like that. It's, it's you might want to call it almost more flyaway ears. Oh, fly, yeah. They it stick could out. Anything, it could go up. Right. But it couldn't, it can't, ha this dog is able to hold his ears. He's just on the go all the time. The ear is tending to a folded ear, in my view. That's how I would describe it. John, could we have Eddie here? Um, Yes, but the leather is thin and it's a little bit pointy. Actually, one is better than the other. This ear is great. Have a look at him now, he's alert. This ear is fine. He's not doing anything with that ear. This one is just a tendency toward folding. I, I really, it, to me, that's just nitpicking. It's not what you particularly want to see, but in, a, in an otherwise excellent dog, why would, you, why would you fold it for something that's really not that bad? I mean, it's like saying you just made a point about it because a dog is a bee. Everybody's throwing out their C's, not thinking, can we put it to an A and produce plenty of bees to keep the gene pool alive, for God's sake. It's a small breed. Common sense. Thank you. <laughs> now, I'd like, you to br I'd like to bring this dog up as an example of a, a big, strong, and this is the father of that dog. This Here, dog has just qualified for the second year in a row to run, to run in the American Master National Hunt Test. 
So we're getting, they're getting a dynasty here, you see. But this is, this is the father of that dog. And he's of a certain type. A lot of people say, oh, he's too big. But he's within standard. He's a strong dog. He most certainly could bring in a goose. And he's, um, he's got an awful, yeah, you bet. And, and he's, he's got a lot going for him. I happen to really like his head. It's a very masculine head. There's no way you mistake this dog for a bitch. Except for the golden people. <laughs> <laughs> Last weekend, I go, and everybody said, what a nice girl. I go, oh. It's a worry. <laughs> well, he, Ico's only a puppy still. I mean, he's not, yeah, but I mean, he's, he's not anywhere near mature yet. And besides, they're thinking he's a, a little golden. Yeah, they could have called him a lot worse. Yeah. Water rat or something like that. Oh, what, do you, what do you call him? Uh, your Make swamp shelting. <laughs> swamp shelting? <laughs> no, no. Uh, who, who we have still, we have Sarah. Is she the last one? I think we've had... Who have we got? How many more dogs can you take? He's sort of a teleworking dog. Yeah. He's a champion though too. Sure. Absolutely. Well, I, 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 I hunted my curly coats, I hunted my Afghans, I shot out my standard poodles, and they were all show dogs. They couldn't work there, they weren't a dog for them. He's just, a, I just love this dog. There's not a lot I can fault. He's, I think he's, uh, his front is better than his son's. Um, he's tighter in elbow. He's just got a little bit more return of upper arm to show him. That's his wiggle there. That's the scapula. And that's the upper arm. So you've got that angle. He's just a little bit better in front than his son. Beautiful dog. I'd had a lot of trouble choosing anything better than that in the ring, even though he is a tad up on, on leg to what I would normally look at, but he's all done, he's compact, he's just a lovely dog. And certainly not oversized. His, the standard allows that, so why would you not put him up? If he's a dog of excellence, why wouldn't you put him up? Because if you've got a whole ring full of little dogs and the judge is, has only seen little dogs, they're yeah. going to say he's too big. One of the things I tell judges, sometimes you go in and you see one dog that's different from everything else. Don't discount it. It may be the only good dog in the room. Right. Okay. Thank you. Could you just move him up and back for me? Just keep talking. John. John, show your dog. <laughs> just walk up and back. Kelsey knows how to do is make a meal. John, try. Little faster. You try. Okay, on um, reflection, after seeing the dog move, he moves just a little close behind, yeah. just a tad, mm -hmm. um, but I, it's true, the movement is true and he's getting more traffic, so there you go. You've always got to find something to forgive on a dog, it's terrible, I hate it. <laughs> Jane? Before you start, Denise, one of the reasons I asked for this dog is that this is a, a dog that, I mean, is actually not the type that I like, but I love this dog. And, and, <laughs> and she's got a different kind of, but I find it a very pleasing head. And, and so I'm happy to, you know, I had this kind of prejudice and then I've learned, I think I love her. I think, I think she's great. I mean, I love this head. It's very attractive. So I wanted her to she show a, a different to type sort of... of just half close her eyes and look at you like this. Yeah. Yeah. And she's got that beautiful eyeliner, you yeah. know. <laughs> we had a bitch who had looked as ugly as sin some mornings. Other, other days she'd we'd say, oh, you got your makeup on today, bitch. Yeah. And she was just, she'd smile at you. Well, I've got to stay near Denise because I've got the... Okay, you have a profile in mind? If the dog, if 
try to go over a dog that doesn't want you to put your, your fingers in its mouth, don't push it. Just come from behind, push your thumb up and fear. Makes life very easy for your end of the dog. Thank you. All right. Sometimes they're handlers that don't really know how to bow the dog, or if they do, the dog doesn't want them to anyway. This is quite typical of most of the tollers we see here in Australia. Um, a slightly finer higher on, on leg dog. Um, isn't my favourite, but I, again, when you're judging, you're not there to look at your favourite, you're there to assess the dog that's in front of you. Against the picture you have in your mind, against the class. Don't forget that they have to win a class. If there's only one there, then it's got to compete with what you have in here as your, your ideal. Um, I not happy with the ears on this dog, mainly because they're not high set. I would like her ears to be just a little bit higher and not quite as big. Mm. But I, I mean, this is picking faults, which I hate to do, but I have to look at this head and say, that's, you know, what, that's not quite as pleasing as I would like. Um, just have to forgive those ears. Um, otherwise, look, lovely wedge-shaped head, a little bit finer than we're used to seeing, but she's a finer style of fish, so that's in balance with the chart we're looking at. Her front assembly, again, a little bit forward placed. She's got a slightly shorter upper arm to shoulder. So I suspect she's a little narrow, slightly tight at elbow, because she hasn't got the breadth there to tuck those elbows back. So let's have a look at the movement. Can anybody guess what sort of movement I'd be looking for in the front of this fish, given that I've talked about the elbows? She's not going to reach. She may reach, but she tends to overlap. Hey, Sarah. She tends yeah. to overset. She yeah. tries to reach out and put her hand in. But she ha she's moving true. She's carrying herself well. She's pacing now, too. Yeah, she's she's, out, of, she's out of shape. Yeah. Mm. She was but a lot of these range of style of tollers will, unless you move them in the correct pace, a the correct speed, they, they will pace. Yeah. Thank you. She's, she's she says, that's here. my mum out there. <laughs> Were there. Do we have time for any more, Johnny? Oh, baby, you want to do a party? <laughs> we have baby puppy classes in Australia for three to six months and we have, and we have sweets and babies. How old is this one, Dawn? Ten weeks. Hmm? Ten weeks. Ten weeks. She also just arrived from Australia. <laughs> oh. Okay, that's good. Put the kibosh on it. <laughs> <laughs> nice tail tip. <laughs> First thing you're looking at in a puppy is, is it happy? Is it a toller that's busy? You're going to be happy. It? <laughs> Doesn't want to be here. You get, the first thing you're going to look at is eye shape in the way. Um, you feel the skull and you've got that nice slightly rounded skull. The head and the ears are set high. The balance of four face to back skull, at this stage you wouldn't expect to see the balance. You wouldn't see it as long. <laughs> Alright, well I'm just going to do it this way. You got any beat? No, I don't actually. I do. Anybody got any beat? I feel the We need to get her to standing still so Denise can... Here, Denise. I was just going to feel the mouth, Alison. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so I thought you were getting her set up and I wanted to get her to stand still for you. Okay. There you go. Balance. <laughs> it's a pan, it's a pan of worms. Yeah, I, yeah. I'd be looking for a little bit more return of upper arm again. It is a huge thing in, in, in the breed. It's a bit of a worry, but it stands nicely over itself. Now, can you tell whether they're going to have a taller front at this age? 
No, I mean, the, sort of the thing that At this stage, this puppy has good straight legs and nice thick bone. Mm -hmm. it, the plates here indicate that there's going to be a lot of bone growth. There's a little bit of a, a, a crooked on this one leg, but it's not too bad. Oh, that's only muscle. Mm -hmm. Lack of muscle. You feel the bone. The yeah. bone is straight. Mm -hmm. um, but lots can happen with diet with puppies. Um, people pump in too much calcium, they do more drinking. They start running them around, jumping over the hoops, thinking, oh, we're going to train them at this age. Crazy stuff. You know, this, this is cartilage you're dealing with. It's not bone yet. So this oh. is... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a face to launch a ship, isn't it? <laughs> Did you want to eat? She wouldn't let you have it, would she? <laughs> When I get babies in the show ring, if they can run around with four feet on the ground and they look happy, I think that's pretty good. <laughs> so I think, that, is that, I think that's about enough, yeah. don't you? Well, thank you, everybody. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I, th I think we've kind of reached the end, and we all have to be out in the field bright and early in the morning. Start looking at some I've dogs. I've been told I have to say thank you, because Martha was pressed into the business, into doing this earlier. <laughs> well, you're very, you're anyway, very welcome. Thank you, both of you, Denise and, you're and very, Allison. I, I hope you found this a, a, a bit of use to you yes. and, and um, that it was worth your while. Yeah, I'm sure it is. It, I found it really, really interesting. I mean, you know, I get, I get passionate about this thing, but it's, um, it's, I, hope, I hope it's useful to you.